Hello and welcome back to my channel, Emily's Creative Life. In today's card, uh, card I'll be creating a cluster of hibiscus flowers using this Hero Arts Color Layering Hibiscus Stamp Set. I am stamping that down on Cougar 110 pound bright white cardstock. I'm starting with that most solid image of the largest flower. And I will be using Stampin' Up! Soft Sky Ink for that one. I have my almost four month old son joining me today so you might hear him cooing and talking in the background. Um, for this next layer of that stamp I am using Baja Breeze ink. And as you can see on the bottom right hand corner I have also been flipping the panel and stamping it in some pinks but it did not go well so I decided not to use that one and not show the stamping for it. I am using um, Blue Bayou for this third layering image on that largest flower and some ink and inka dinka do masking paper. I stamped that down and cut it out and placed it over that flower and then I'm using the smaller flower and using blush blossom ink and stamping that down twice. I then use cameo coral for the second layer and then the hero arts pale tomato for that third color. I didn't show it and I forgot to include that in the video, but there's the what that looks like with all three of those colors stamped down. I had a pretty significant smudge of ink down there by that flower, so I'm using the Tombow Mono Sand Eraser to remove that. And then again I'm using that same small um, hibiscus solid image and using Barely Banana ink to stamp that down next to the large one on the other side. And then for that second layer, I'm using Summer Sun ink. And then after that I will be using So Saffron for that third layer. And that I will be stamping down twice to create more contrast. And then I'm using the veins from one of the leaf images in that set, and I'm using Green Galore ink. And then for the more solid image, I will be using Gable Green ink. I love hibiscus, they're my favorite flower, so this has been a fun set for me to use as you can see they are very, the stamps are very stained, I've used it a lot. <coughs> and then I am using another leaf image from that set, and the more solid image, and I am stamping that in certainly celery Stampin' Up! ink. I stamped that down twice to give it better coverage, and I'll stamp that again above that pink small hibiscus and stamping it twice again in that same color. And then I will be using the vein image for that, or the wild wasabi ink for that vein image for that stamp. I use a microfiber cloth to clean off the stamps in between each layer and color and to clean out my stamp positioning tool. For the stamen on the hibiscus on the blue one I'm using Knight of Navy Stampin' Up! ink. And then Rose Red for the pink and red flower. And then I will be using more mustard on the yellow one. And I double stamp the more mustard to give it more of that contrast. So when I finished with that I clean everything up and set my stamping tool aside. And I'm using my tonic guillotine paper trimmer to cut that panel down at an angle. Like I said I messed up several different times on that bottom cluster. I just didn't create enough masks and didn't mask it properly so it, all the stamping messed up um, that large flower. I decided not to use it 
And here I am using my EK tool scoring board and my Teflon bone folder to score that Cougar cardstock at five and a half inches to create a top folding note card. And then I will be using a stamp set by Wendy Vecchi, um, the Flowers Say It All stamp set. I will be using the coordinating stencil in that set to create some uh, little stripes down below that stamped panel, going at an angle across the card. And I will be using um, an ink blending tool and the Memento London Fog ink. So I go ahead and shift that to cover the rest of that panel, or the, cover the rest of the length of that card base with that same stencil. I used purple tape to temporarily hold that down, and here I am using some Burtek foam tape to put on the back of that flower stamped panel so that it would give it a little bit of dimension. And I go ahead and pop that up on the card base. I'm using the sentiment uh, flowers say it all from that stamp set. I should have stamped it down before adding the foam tape and putting it on the card base, but I decided, or I didn't decide that until after I had already adhered that down. Um, so here I'm placing that down, making sure that it's straight, and then I go ahead and use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I stamp that down twice to get a nice dark. Um, impression. I am then using a wax pencil and some Distress Collage Medium Matte uh, finish or glue to adhere those uh, clear sequins down. They're just kind of scattered on the card. And then I am using my Wink of Stella clear brush pen and I'd I placed that all over the hibiscus flowers. I didn't do any on the leaves, so just the flowers. And you can see a little bit of that shine, and here is the finished card. I love how this one turned out. Thank you so much for watching and spending this time with me. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, and I'll see you next time.